about sustainable country health for future generations. Let's go! Country health is the human health which depends on the state of natural system. Our actions determine the quality of the environment that we live. Today, we would like to share on how we could sustain country health for future generations. We will use economic activities in Sabah as examples. Turtles are one of the main attractions for tourism in Malaysia. However, turtles are facing extinction. At least a thousand turtles die every year ingesting or entangling in plastic rubbish. The extinction of turtle will increase the populations of jellyfish, which then disrupt the ecosystem. So, does this problem have a solution? Yes. CB is used to collect the waste in the sea, including plastic. Besides, tagging is used to locate the position of the turtles using GPS. By knowing the position of the turtles, seabling can be placed strategically to reduce wastes in the sea. Lumber or timber construction is an energy efficient alternative to high rise and commercial buildings. Wood is natural, renewable, and sustainable material for building with a lighter carbon footprint. However, the tree could take 20 to 1,500 years to grow. So, do you have some ways to overcome the issue? Yes, of course. With the help of biological researchers, first growing species like Pocatera Pantata, Eucalyptus Pinta, Acacia Mingyu are planted. It only takes 6 to 8 years to grow and harvest this species. When logging is performed, the dead and deceased trees are harvested. First, preventing the spread of fungi or bacteria which may damage other parts of the tree. When the tree is cut, a new tree is planted. With the shortened time of growth of the tree species, timber is replenished easily to provide construction materials and for future generations. On top of that, technology innovation using chainsaw sound and vibration detector system also can be used to tackle illegal logging issues. It detects the sound of chainsaws and the vibration that generated by the axis. This project uses sound sensor and vibration sensor, which is integrated with the Arduino Nano and JSON module. This enables the Forest Patrol Office to take immediate action if the system is alerted. Last but not least, we would like to share on sustainable fisheries. Research shows that fishes lay their eggs in the months of April or May, although it may vary depending on the species of fish. Marine capturing is reduced or halted during these months to allow the fish to reproduce and grow. 40% of the world's population relies on fish as its primary food source. However, not all fish is marketable. Algae life system is attached to fishing nets to increase the selectivity of the fishing catch. As different fish react differently to different lights, the unwanted fish can simply slip through while other species are retained in the net. Besides, small fishes could be released by the fishermen to allow breeding of the fish. This could increase the sustainability of the oceans for future generations. This is like a video to show your support. So, see you forever. We like together.